thanks. Uh, the gentleman in the brown jacket. Uh, Roger Cohen from the New York Times. A question for Minister Barak, if I may. Uh, we just heard Senator Lindsey Graham say that in the interests of global security, President Obama may, by 2012, have to order an attack on Iran that would involve taking out the nuclear facilities, sinking the Navy, destroying the Rev Guards, neutralizing the regime, and generally uh, bringing uh, the current state of Iran down. Uh, do you feel that this would be in the interests of Israeli security, and do you think Israelis would feel more secure as a result of such an attack? Thank you. Uh, I have noticed that uh, Senator Graham, whom I uh, love very much, uh, will never, uh, uh, never betray his uh, mission to make sure that John McCain doesn't go too soft. So he probably <laughs> made, <laughs> made, <laughs> made his uh, remark in regard to this. I, I don't think that you seriously expect me to, to respond on it beyond saying that uh, Iran... <laughs> Iran is a major, a major threat to any conceivable world order. Uh, it's clear to all of us that they are determined to reach military nuclear capability. They are ready to, to uh, deceit, to defy, to whatever, to deter the rest of the world. And think of it, you will end up finding that if, they, if we will allow them somehow to turn nuclear, and I should admit that it's still time for diplomacy and sanctions are working beyond uh, what most of us expected. But it's not clear whether it will work at the end. And it's clear that if Iran is let, being let become nuclear, military nuclear, following what happened with Pakistan and later on with North Korea, it will be the end of any uh, conceivable uh, uh, non-proliferation regime. It will end up with several members of the Middle Eastern community find themselves compelled to turn nuclear. It will end up with a proliferation starting to, to slip out of the hands of countries into probably the, what the President Obama described as the uh, slippery slope toward having a nuclear, crude nuclear device in the end of some terrorist group. Uh, in 15 years' time, and when we think of it, it's quite disturbing because unlike reasonable uh, leadership of nations uh, who can calculate what happens if they uh, consider uh, uh, using it, uh, once a terrorist group, even 15 years down the stream, will have a crude nuclear device, they will not hesitate for a moment to put it in a container with GPS-activated uh, detonator and send it to a major port in the east coast of America, in Western Europe, or in Ashdod, in Israel. And we have to deploy for this as well. Beyond this, I clearly see intimidation and coercion of neighboring Arab uh, uh, states along the Gulf, and a major tailwind to all, uh, uh, all groups of terror, from Al-Qaeda to, to the uh, Taliban, to Jaishel, whatever, to uh, uh, Houthis in Yemen and the bandits in Somali. So it's a major change in the landscape that should be dealt with sincerely, seriously, but not in front of TV cameras. Um, <laughs>